Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today we have yet another iteration of the motive of the Eagle Transporter. This time is a small ship, um, but um, it's a big, um, it's, a, it's a, a small ship uh, grid, but it's a big ship. <laughs> because you can really make um, whatever you want with, with uh, the small grid. Uh, the difference is that, of course, uh, being um, the uh, be, uh, the blocks being smaller, um, you can uh, you can have more. Um, how would I call it? Like it's it's like resolution. Like your your voxel resolution is greater, so you can make uh, more details. I would say. And this is really great. This is something I was uh, thinking about um, some time ago. I wanted to make like these hexagonal um, elements. And at the end, I decided to try it out with, uh, with a transporter version. And yeah, I'm using several mods here. Um, the um, Space Engineers modding community is amazing the things that they come up to just um, yeah uh, fill the gaps of the game um, these um, these motors are always um, giving us uh, things that we can we are even even before we ask for them we have things that we we need like for example these um, windows these are um, reinforced windows this is uh, such a great mod and i was looking um i i can i will show you my other um versions before reaching to this one but um i can show you how it looked before this is um a previous iteration and you see here that i was using the vanilla windows but you cannot compare that with this like this is like a, uh, a Mars uh, rover like the Mars rover windows from um, the Mars rover from NASA and I was really looking for this I wanted to, to do it like this uh, I didn't know that the mod existed when I came up with, with this design and then I found the mod and here we are it looks great. Um, also, I am using Sardos um, passage connector passage. This mod is really great as well. Um, I would like these things to be part of the game. Well, the thing about the, the mods is that, of course, the, um, the game is always um, being uh, developed and the mods can become um, can break with with uh, further updates right so that's always the fear um, and at the same time I feel like these uh, guys should um, I don't know how I would say like uh, receive um, their um, some reward for for their efforts this is always my 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 thinking when I see all these uh, great mods, it, it also happened with Minecraft. Some, so many people doing great things. Of course, all of them do these things because they, they are gamers. They like the, to do these things. But also I think that if they could um, yeah, be rewarded somehow to support their, their work, it would be great. Um, okay, so there are other mods. I have also these uh, uh, button ba panels. At the end, I will give a list of a proper list um, crediting the, the motors and the mods. Uh, and I will also link them in the description below. Uh, but let's continue uh, reviewing the, the, the design. So I have this um, mod for buttons. This also came in very handy because, of course, when you 
when you consider like the vanilla buttons they're huge and also keep in mind that uh, for the for the large grid um, there are um, other types like uh, more um, how would I say it uh, there is like more va variants of buttons but for the small grid you only have this one and this one so basically yeah and, and these two are very different um, designs right this this button is like very old already like it it it, it reflects like the original um, look and feel of space engineers and this is more like the the more more recent trend they are taking with um, with the game with a the, with their style but then of course you are here like somehow um, stuck be between these two uh, styles that they don't match each other so this uh, button somehow um, fill um, fill the gap between these uh, different styles uh, but of course uh, it's clear that we we need um, we need more button for the small grid the small grid um, is uh, still very limited and you can see for example for the large grid you have this type of bot button panels and stuff right you have a, 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 a great um, cell uh, like a greater selection a greater offer of um, variants but for small grid you don't have that so um, I'm using these uh, buttons and I will show you the cockpit well as as all the the transporters um, designs that are based in space uh, 1999 the TV show the sci-fi TV show you have like this access uh, corridor to the to the command module and then you have the the um, the aft uh, module and you well the, the idea here is to uh, be able to access the ship uh, from from back to front right so in the back I have this um, connector that will um, allow me to dock with a space station for example and and then you have like this rear uh, this the aft compartment they call it in the series this aft compartment was used to ho uh, to house a um, nuclear reactor to power the ship and um, yeah it had um, some other things but basically what you had is the is the nuclear reactor um, here my design is uh, it's trying to reflect more like the, the space station um, modules in general and yeah the hexagonal shape what um, allows me to do is to um, make uh, efficient use of space because these um, triangular sides are used to house the the pipes the piping for um, that go around the module and then you get uh, the central part is a corridor and to the sides then I can place um, uh, timer blocks behind the timer blocks we have batteries and pipes and stuff so I am using M master um, LCD uh, automatic LCD um, script it's very useful I have um, showcase this mod uh, in other videos but it's, it's really cool it, 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 it does so much like uh, to create uh, these um, panel views ah, and I'm using when you see these um, tilted panels I'm using another mod for that these are block LCDs mod and I use it also for the for the cockpit for uh, so the cockpit is uh, we have two uh, seats one for the pilot and another for the co-pilot I'm using uh, 
you see there yeah, at the at the front you see here um, a hot I created with transparent LCDs I've done this with uh, with other um, with other uh, models of Eagle Transporter but not um, exactly the same as what I have here and this is uh, this is possible to do this hot because I'm I'm in a small uh, grid it's very difficult to to come up with something like this for big ships I mean you can do it but it, it you will end up with a really massive um, cockpit that yeah it will resemble more a bridge than a, than, than a cockpit so yeah so here um, we have the art artificial horizon in the center um, panel to the right we have um, a view created with M master um, script to display the hydrogen and the battery charge and to the left we have uh, whiplash um, radar um, script to display this um, elite uh, dangerous like um, radar yeah so and here then we we have the um, block lcds mod for these um, tilted uh, panels here i'm displaying information about the docking status of uh, uh, the connectors and the landing gears uh, and here I placed another button panel so here we have two um, two panels are accessible from the cockpit and this um, this is another mod uh, the, uh, uh, this um, functionality to be able to push the buttons from the cockpit and this small orange uh, crosshair you see is part of that mod it's called um, in-flight um, buttons so this is great because um, the, the the problem with uh, space engineers um, well uh, at least uh, for me is that um, to be able to uh, control your 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 ship you always need to to have the hot on right unless you know by heart um, all the bindings to the to the keys and this takes away some uh, some of the immersion of the game so in in the in the hot is uh, so much information displayed right um, not only like your vitals but also um, the speed of your ship uh, like the dampeners if they are on or off all this um, hot bar uh, thing also um, the like how much fuel you have energy and so on and on top of that you get all these um, markers right from targets and, and locations uh, even you have like this um, hint of the keys you need to press to um, to interact with the game of course you can change uh, the, the the display of the how much information you you will have in the HUD but at the end um, yeah uh, what what you want is or what I want is to do something like this like all the information um, being presented is uh, is in some some object uh, in the ship right like some screen because this this um, this is uh, improving the uh, immersion effect and now with these uh, two mods one is the in-flight uh, buttons and the uh, and these button panels th these are two separate mods uh, now we can press the buttons as well like we don't have to make use of the hot bar of course we still need to somehow uh, remember what it each button does to help me with that I um, yeah th the buttons uh, come marked with with these like a braille um, 
dots um, but for example uh, the one with the one I disabled the impulse engines with the two I disabled the uh, and enable like I toggle uh, I should say the lift engines and the three the RCS so this this screen here is a reminder of um, what of each of each one of those buttons do um, the fourth uh, is for the uh, for the landing gear but you see then that um, yeah it's 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 a it's a different experience i also have a screen up here but still i'm not using it and i wanted to show you um, another thing like i made this um, um, airlock uh, yeah this airlock um, function where I will press uh, the buttons here to um, pressurize or depressurize so for example let's pressurize so that would be this button here Pressurizing. completed so again I'm using some mods here these these um, speakers that you see these these things here are speakers these are from another mod and also the voice uh, computer voice is also from uh, a mod and I have timer blocks that will um, perform all these functions right when I pressurize then the door closes and the the vents start pressurizing also i will um make the sounds like the uh, i will have one speaker with the alert the other one with a with a computer voice and also the screen that tells you that there's a um there's a pressurization going on and there's no passage through the door so let's now depressurize depressurizing Completed. There we go. And I also have the same here. Of course, this this is also possible from the outside. So, for example, if I leave the the, the ship and I want to pressurize again, I just press this button, and then again um, we have all these signals. And the same here, basically. So, again. I can pressurize and now it's both doors that are activated. Completed. Uh, by the way, the I'm using um, recently a Space Engineers received an, an update. Completed. Very cool stuff was added. For example, this um, um, conveyor blocks. Uh, armor. They are armor conveyor blocks, so they they allow for. Um, for um, air tightness when you are using like the flat side because they always have a side that is not um, pressurized like these ones here with these uh, sort of trusses and that's very cool like I really like uh, the, 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 the last update they added um, a lot of useful things um, and from that update I'm using the like these conveyor blocks uh, what else yeah well I think we covered everything um, I guess now we can just uh, go for a ride so let's uh, pressurize to get a hang of it. Let's see. So uh, we would have to turn on the engines. Okay, so we have impulse engines, lift engines, and RCS engines on. I would um, turn off the RCS, I think. 
because we don't need it at the moment um, also I think the the landing gear is engaged let's see I think this is for the landing gear yes the problem is that they um, let's see if we can do it on time yeah there we go so again the principle if you if you remember um, or you've seen other videos um, about how um, I do this um, how I um, design this uh, transporter is that I have some lift engines I keep the dampeners on but I turn off the RCS so that lets us um, glide because um, since the RCS are off the ship is um, the ship keeps the same um, altitude in, in gravity so uh, but since it's a small ship it's not um, as heavy perhaps as the as the big version of the eagle transporter ah by the way i'm using the offset thrusters uh, mod that's another mod that i frequently uh, mention but yeah it, it, it gives um, an engineering challenge to the game so i really uh, like how the the, the the ship handles itself. It has a little bit of extra weight at the back and I, I need to correct it. But um, this has an easy fix. I have to put more weight at the, at the front. And also what I like is um, to drive it uh, as a helicopter of the sort. So what I do is that since the, the lift thrusters, the lift thrusters are the ones pointing down since they are all the time activated because they are all the time compensating from for gravity if i tilt the ship you can see that it goes uh, the velocity vector um, shifts to that side it's the same as a helicopter because the, the helicopter the the what's called the blades of the rotor are all the time pushing air downwards to keep the, the, the helicopter floating. But if, if the helicopter makes this roll movement, then um, the stream of air changes direction and gives the, the helicopter um, this horizontal um, impulse. So here, like we are going around just by tilting the, the, the ship without um, activating the RCS the RCS because as soon as I activate the RCS since, since I have the dampeners on um, our ship will come to a standstill so and we don't want to deactivate the dampeners because otherwise we will be to we would be um, forced to all the time manually compensate for the gravity so we don't want that either so th i i really like um how this uh, this uh, method works like this uh, lift thrusters combined with the dampeners and turning off the the rcs We don't, I think we don't even need, at this point, we don't even need the, the, the impulse engines. The impulse engines are relatively big for this ship, but also I have um, RCS uh, pointing uh, forward. Ah, but of course, if they are off, then of course we will need the, the, the impulse. But as you can see, I haven't... Uh, really accelerated the ship with um, with the impulse engines that much just at the beginning I gave it a, a, a small impulse 
because also if I I think if I tilt the the ship forward we will gain some speed and again this is the same principle as the helicopter in a helicopter you will do this like if you want to go forward you will tilt the the, the ship uh, forward and if you tilt it backwards um, it will um, decelerate so for example if we do this we should um, decelerate yeah and, and we see it it drives just as a helicopter I wonder if something like this would be useful in real life in the moon right yeah but I, I really like how it drives it handles very well um, I think this is uh, now my favorite ship I mean the big ones of course they have like this uh, enormous uh, power but I see like this ship is really the I think it's the most um, it's the one that has uh, more similarity with uh, the original um, Eagle Transporter maybe not very much exactly how it looks but yeah but in general how it works even the, 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 the dimensions could be uh, similar and also I like that it has like this uh, NASA Apollo style and that's that that was uh, one thing I was going after like you know like the lunar lander and of course the windows are um, are so similar to these NASA rovers that they're um, that are under development I, I am referring to the the crude ones not like the robots but the, the crude um, rovers okay but I think um, we are through with this episode um, I yeah b before uh, finishing and, and uh, saying goodbye I want to uh, just give credit to the to the motors I have a, a list of the uh, mods that were used so from Enera um, quantum of theft uh, project we have the reinforced windows um, also we have the um, computer voice from climb we have in-flight buttons from Atlas the slope LCD panels very like without uh, these mods the the cockpit was impossible also of course uh, Sardo for the passage um, connectors and uh, DG always I men uh, I frequently mention him for the realistic thrusters this offset uh, thruster mod and from happy sushi the sounds uh, blocks mod for the for the speakers and the button panels mod yeah and M master of course the automatic LCDs too and whiplash the whips uh, turret based radar so by the way you need a, a turret um, for this to work that's why I have a, a uh, a turret um, with a Gatling gun at the top otherwise I wouldn't use the, the Gatling gun this is not like a military ship um, but I need it for the radar and the radar is very useful <laughs> especially when you want to um, stay clear from pirates yes and it will the turret of course um, lends some defense uh, but um, this this ship is um, in the military sense is not um, very um, 
very strong okay guys so um, I hope you like the video hope to see you in the next one this is Cyber Settlers signing off